What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Bass and Hannah podcast. Today, we're talking about closing a deal. You know, there, there are a lot of steps to getting somebody to say yes, but that's not when the deal ends. And I've learned this lesson countless times the hard way. The deal is not done until the paperwork is signed and the money has been transferred. There is no exception to that rule. I have fought, like, I, I can't tell you this. I, the reason I'm recording this today is because it happened to me today again. And I'm like, man, I gotta put this, I gotta share this with everybody. So right now I'm in the middle of doing an equity raise and somebody that I know and trust and respect uh, uh, comes up to me and he's like, you know, couple weeks ago and he's like hey dude i'm in you know let's get it done like lock it in we're good i'm like perfect you know and it's on me because i didn't ask him to sign that paperwork right i i I said let's like i trusted it and everything's okay and then sure enough today he calls me and he's like hey for whatever reason it's not done you know we now have to do I need more information, I need more time, I need this, that, and the other thing. The problem is that if you are building a business or if you are raising equity or doing anything, you need to make sure you are working on stable footing. If you take people at their word, that is one thing and that's important to do. But when you're building a business, unless the ink is dry and the money has been transferred, that deal's not done yet. You know, No matter how much you think it is, it is not. So the advice I have for you today is even though you might be getting yeses, those yeses need to be converted into actual sales, deals, equity raises, whatever it is. That does not happen until the documents are signed and the money's in the bank account. And I hope that lesson that I'm learning today and I've learned in the past is something that resonates with the people that are listening to this podcast because that could be the difference between your success and failure because if you are in a time sensitive situation and you are relying on something then make sure it's down on paper and make sure that money's in the bank before you take the next step that's all i got for today it's a short one but it's a very critical one i hope that it helps you as and i hope that i remember it in the future as well Uh, thank you for tuning in until the next time have a great one